Hi, I'm Sydney Eva Padden, and I am from Vancouver, Canada. I grew up in Coquitlam, currently live in East Vancouver on the unceded Coast Salish territories of the Musqueam and tsleil peoples. Uh, I am a visual artist, an event producer, and a fashion designer, and a dancer, so an interdisciplinary artist uh, in general. I started my creative career way before high school. I was raised by a super creative mom who taught me to like dance around the house and always promoted me to like draw and paint. So by the time that I was in uh, secondary school, I was really into theater and I was always doing all of the plays. And then I was super also involved with um, the visual arts. And my first high school had a mural club. So that's where I first started to paint walls and think large scale, which is what I do now. And I also performed in like dance performances and theater and just kind of like made my high school career as creative as possible, even though it wasn't an art school or anything like this. And then um, from that, I took my passion in uh, visual arts and theater and I, I went to university for both but I ended up really just diving into fashion and visual arts and creating like myself as the performance through what I wear and that was something I did in high school too I always like freaked out all the kids by wearing crazy outfits yeah so I think like being different and really trying things out at that age was a cool way to get to where I am now uh, yeah which is being 23 and being across the world making art so um, my creative self really became um, what it is now and what I keep growing uh, when I started to throw like local hip-hop events and uh, that was through this like magazine that I ran for four years called Mania. It was started with uh, my friend at the time, Lucille Zarifa, and finished off with another uh, friend, Orla Adams. So in that, I got together communities of people uh, through gallery shows and uh, big variety shows with like dance acts and then uh, all different things, marketplaces, and I started to realize just how much my creative self is tied with community and how I want to explore what I like to do, which is painting and jewelry and fashion and performance, but in a way that engages everyone else around me and creates a culture. So about Almost two years ago now, a year and a half, I, I put all of that under Pattern Nation. And I, I you know, I, I paint patterns, I wear patterns, I make patterns into my clothing, and I think each culture has patterns that they um, identify with, and we can all come together on that common understanding. So through that, I mean, myself as an artist is great, but it's not about me, it's about um, creating spaces where maybe I've painted the walls or I've styled the artists but, and the models. Um, but it's like a vibe, that flow where you're in a space and sure there's, there may be substances, there may be drinking, but you're there to like engage, to dance, to meet like-minded people and it's intergenerational. You know, we've had like six-year-olds birthday parties and like women in their like 50s to 70s meeting with like our peers. So I think that is really important, you know? Um, so that's what inspires me, I think. Yeah, I think because of the community I grew up in, which was a festival, the Children's Festival, which is an international festival that my mother, Lindy Sisson, ran, I grew up around international artists making work, showing things, being creative, and, you know, had ultimate support from that side of my family to pursue my goals. I think that my childhood that was so deeply filled with creativity brought me to where I am. It showed me that I, like, gave me self-confidence. Uh, it gave me, like, 
skills around committing to projects and following through and knowing that even if something seems impossible, if we work together, it can be created. Yeah, when you have people around you, whether it's friends or family, that support you at a young age, and that could be just telling your other friends like their crazy outfits today, it's going to give each other self-confidence. Not cockiness, but confidence. I am just as an artist transitioning from being the youth and being the kid to being someone that, you know, gives that inspiration back to, to young artists. So I think for me growing up, the most inspiring thing was having established artists talk to me as if I had opinions and had something to say. And I think a lot of times kids get baby voice or talk down to, their ideas aren't seen as, as important or valid. So that moment where you are a kid or a teenager and someone who you look up to like takes you seriously and really thinks about your ideas as something that's valuable, like that is so inspiring because you know, hanging out with this super cool six year old the other week and she just had the coolest drawing ideas and the best dance moves and like I was there with her forgetting she was six and thinking this is my friend and I think that those jumps and leaps between generations is when we really learn from each other. I think art should definitely be encouraged in young people um, as much as sports or math or history because art, art is our history, art is a way of communicating, it is the best way of self-expression and even if you only do a little bit of it and you choose a different career path, it's still going to teach you a way to express yourself and talk about your life experiences, whether it's on stage, through writing a song, through dancing, or through painting a picture. Like, art can heal us. Every kid should have access to a little bit of art education as, like, as, as like a, a human right, almost. It's gonna be hard to be an artist. Uh, you know, you're, it's, it's really hard to make money. Always ask for what you're worth. I'm still learning this. I'm always, you know, helping out homies and doing things, you know, for free. But eventually, we have to stand up for, for the money that we need to make. So, you know, if it's worth it to you to take that risk and, and not have sustainable income, uh, then you must really love your artwork. Okay, my advice for you all is um, really simple, just like be yourself and in your process of finding whatever that is, try lots of different things um, without letting the shame or peer pressure of others around you tell you that you're not cool or you're not good enough. Like when you let yourself be weird and you encourage the people around you to express themselves play with gender nonconformity, play with crazy fashion, play with, you know, like thinking outside of the box, like that is shit, kids. <laughs> so I'm definitely aware of all of the plastic pollution, but I'm sure like it's even more than I could possibly imagine. And I, I you know, grew up recycling in Canada, we have great recycling and reuse all my plastic bags and all these things, but for art making, when I was in like grade 12, we had this wearable art, um, like green sustainability show. And so I took like plastic bags, like, you know, from the grocery store and put them into strips and then like tied tiny knots to make like really long, like, almost like a ball of yarn. And then crocheted this like bodice um, out of it and then connected that to an old bra with the inside plastic of a broken keyboard as like these weird alien looking, thingies uh, so you know to create a dress so playing with uh, a simple crochet hook and plastic or you know cutting and tying things um, is endless possibilities